Hi, I'm Dr. John LaPuma. Welcome to the ChefMD video blog and the ChefMD question of the week, which comes from Joyce P. in Anamosa, Iowa, who writes, Dear Dr. LaPuma, I am a diabetic. I am trying to eat better and keep my sugar under control. I have trouble in the evening, and that's when I want to eat, and I see the bad choices I make in the morning from my spiked blood sugar. Can you help me, please? Yes, Joyce, I think I can. Thanks for writing. At night, I think especially with your eating things that spike your blood sugar in the morning, it's likely that they're high in carbs. And what I would do is try not to eat very many high carb foods for dinner. I'd eat more protein, more turkey, more chicken, more lean protein from beans, from soy, um, and go light on the carbs in the evening. Um, now, to give yourself better choices where you see the choices, one of my best tricks is to use clear containers in the fridge, clear bowls like this, in which you put good choices that you see at eye level, like these beautiful raspberries, which you see at eye level through the clear glass. If you put things in opaque containers, you hide them and you don't quite know what they are, but you do know where the bag of chips is or the bag of cookies are, irrespective of whether it's opaque and, or clear. And then finally, I like to suggest for people with diabetes, and in fact, anybody who wants to lose weight, four Bs. I want them to eat breakfast. I want them to eat four hours, stop eating four hours before going to bed. I want them to sit briefly, at least briefly while eating, including snacks. You enjoy more of your food that way. And finally, I want you to brush after each meal. Put a toothbrush in your handbag, put one in the car glove compartment, put one in your office drawer. Keep a toothbrush and some toothpaste by. It gives you a psychological boost. If you've cleaned your teeth, you don't want to eat junk. And then finally, if you're eating when you're not really hungry, then you might want to look at a deeper level. You know, are you using food as a reward or a comfort or a companion? Or are you eating when you're really hungry, which of course is when you should be eating? Small things add up to big differences and big positive changes. You can do it if you have a plan and you plan for it. Let me know how you're doing. And thanks for coming to the ChefMD video blog. Come to see us at ChefMD.com anytime.